Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode with the Canning Nana. So today I'm going to do a very quick video and as promised I'm going to show you a really simple Thrive Life recipe that you guys can use um, with something that you already have which is ramen. So I am going to be making a ramen package which is chicken flavor and I'm going to be adding some chicken to it some peas, some red bell peppers, some green onions, some chopped onions, and some carrots. So I have three cups of water boiling on the stove. I'm gonna take these out and show you guys what it looks like and then put it in there. So easy and have a nice hearty lunch. This is just a really, really simple recipe that anybody can do with their Thrive Life foods at home. Okay, so I'm gonna show them to you before I put them into the boiling water. So these are our peas right here. And I only use a little bit of each because it's just me for lunch and you don't need a whole lot. These are the chicken, uh, diced chicken, the chopped diced chicken, and they are delicious, you guys. So these are the, the peppers, the sweet uh, red bell peppers. Now they don't come out like this. I broke them, but I want to show you. This is how they come out. So they come out in big pieces. So you can make, um, like I make sausage and peppers and onions for dinner. And I will use the red bell peppers, the green bell peppers, and the, excuse me, the sliced onions with my um, Italian sausage and make a sandwich. It comes out amazing. These are the green onion. These are amazing as well. Everything is, you guys. But it's so easy to use. I mean, there's my chopped onion. I don't have to chop any vegetables. Nothing is going to go to waste. I don't have to cut a carrot. It's already cut for me. Um, so these are all of the foods right here that I'm going to put in there. So convenient and there is no waste. And that is one of the main things that I love about Thrive Live Foods. Um, right now, starting February 14th and only through the 17th, I have been given a code. If you go to my website, um, and I will put the link in the description box as always. It's thecanningnana.thrivelife.com. Really simple. If you use the code LOVE, capital L O V E, uh, from February 14th through the 17th, you are going to get an extra 25% off on your delivery orders. Now, if you don't do a delivery order, you're only going to get 10% off, but it's still 10% off. If you do a delivery order, it's an auto ship, but you change it. As soon as your order ships, you go in there and you, you skip a month, you change out the products. You can order one product, you can order a specials pack, you can order whatever you guys want on delivery. And if you put it on delivery, you will always save more money. If you do regular shipping and you don't do uh, delivery, you're always gonna pay full retail. And we don't wanna do that, you guys. You're, you always wanna get the best deal, right? So my code, L-O-V-E, love, is good February 14th through the 17th, um, and it's good on the specials pack. I checked. It is a really, really super deal, and uh, I'm offering it to all of you guys. So here we go. Let's put this all in the water and show you how to do it and how easy it is. Okay, so I have three cups of water boiling, and I'm going to add each ingredient separately. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our chicken. And that's just gonna boil. And then we're gonna add our carrots and our peas and our peppers and our onions and then our green onions. All in there, just like that. And we're just gonna let it soak up and boil and refresh. Okay, I'm gonna add the seasoning packet to it. I usually don't add the whole thing. And we are just gonna stir. And let it all get ready for the noodles. And that's really all there is to it, you guys. It is so easy. So easy and you have an instant lunch. Okay, so here we are boiling and I'm just gonna cook this until the chicken is tender because everything else is going to get tender quicker than the chicken it looks amazing 
And this is food, you guys. This is just freeze-dried food, and you can use it in any dish. We use it every single day, literally. My favorites are everything that I just put in there. Um, and the the proteins taste the meats and the and the, the chicken, the beef, I get pulled pork. It all tastes just like you made fresh meat. The texture is good on all the vegetables. The texture is good on the meat. Nobody will know if you don't tell them that it's, nobody will know it's freeze dried food. But if you don't tell them, uh, they, they just, they won't even guess. So I wanna tell you before this is done, this smells so good. It, it almost smells like a chicken soup. And you can do this with just bouillon, you guys. Put a little bit of better than bouillon in some water, make yourself some chicken broth if you don't have some already canned up. Add your freeze dried vegetables or your dehydrated vegetables and you've got instant soup with zero waste. Zero waste, no cutting up any vegetables or anything. That is what I love about dehydrating and about using the freeze dried food. So it is amazing. And it's a great um, addition to anybody's food storage because you want canned food, you want dehydrated food, you want to freeze food, and you want freeze dried food. Um, have a little bit in each store, you know, in, in storage to have a little bit of everything. Um, if I just canned and we had a big earthquake, if there was a big earthquake, I would definitely lose some jars. So um, I want to have all of my bases covered with my food storage and have um, food in, in different areas, in different ways to make it. Um, you can go camping with this stuff, with the freeze dried, with the dehydrated. Yes, you can mix it all together. You can use it with your canned food. It is amazing. So let's get this done. Let's see how this is coming. I think it's almost there. It, it smells just amazing. It smells like I made a pot of chicken soup. It really does. The onions smell amazing. Okay, so we are back and I'm gonna add the ramen to this right in there with all of that while this finishes cooking. I will tell you the chicken is completely done and it tastes amazing. I just tasted the peas and it's the first time I've boiled the peas. I have sauteed the peas. Um, and the peas, I will tell you, I hate canned peas, you guys. I like my fresh peas. These are the next best thing to fresh peas. The canned, I can't stand them. They, they just are so mushy. These are not mushy. They have a good flavor to them. Um, I tasted the carrots. They are amazing. There is one of the peppers and everything stays true to form. It does not get mushy. This is really, really good. Okay, I'll bring you back when it's done and I'm serving. Okay, this is almost done. Look at the bright colors. That, that just, you just don't get that with dehydrated food. And the flavor is, and the texture is a lot better with the freeze dried food than it is with the dehydrated. Though I still dehydrate, you guys, I'm not gonna stop dehydrating just because I have this. Like I said, different different ways to store food. You always want different ways. And this is great for long-term, just like dehydrated, and for everyday use. I, we use this all the time. This is a terrific meal if you're going camping, if you're going hiking, so easy to do. Just when you, you're gonna go, you're gonna have a, a bottle of water or something with you anyway, this is perfect. And it doesn't take that much water. Okay, I think we're ready to serve this. Okay, so we have everything ready. And with all of that, it only took about five minutes longer than it normally takes to make ramen. That's it. So we have all of this done. I'm gonna pour what I can in here. I don't know if this is gonna be too small. Should be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Get it all out of there. Okay. Of course, all of the vegetables just stuck to my pot. Not all of them, but some of them. Some of the little carrots. Okay. I'll get those off in a second. Carrot. Okay. So, taste test. I just tasted a carrot, you guys. Um, that's in here. So the carrot is crunchy. It's not mushy at all. 
um, let me show you a piece of the chicken. Okay, I wanted to take you guys in really close here. This is the pepper, this is the pea, carrot, and the chicken. Watch when I cut into the chicken, you guys. Look at that. That is the chicken. It looks like chicken. Let's see if it will focus. Can you see that? It looks like chicken. It tastes like chicken. It has the texture of chicken. It's perfect. So there you go. Now what is simpler than making this with your freeze dried food? So, so easy to do. Thank you for watching guys. And if you have any questions about Thrive Life, please let me know. We are gonna have a word of the day, but I want you guys to tell me what you would make or what you have made with Thrive Life vegetables uh, or your freeze dried vegetables. What do you like? So the word of the day is going to be food storage because this is great for your food storage, especially during an earthquake. Um, this is not gonna break. <laughs> your, your cans, your jars may break if you don't have them secure. Your dehydrated food and your freeze dried food is not going to break. So you know that you'll have those. Your canned food, your freezer, your power may go out. Um, your canned food, you may lose a few jars. Hopefully not a, a lot of jars. I know you guys don't live in earthquake country like I do, but I have to think that way. Um, but this is fantastic for short and long-term food storage. So please uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We are doing a huge giveaway very soon. I know I've delayed it a little bit, but there is a reason for that, you guys, and I promise it will be all worth it. Like the video, please comment the word of the day in the comment section, and please share and get the word out about the videos. And don't forget to go check out Prepper Potpourri and all of the other channels that are doing Air Fryer February. My video comes out on February 13th. Um, stay tuned for that, and we have mushroom video, um, we have blueberry jam making video, and we have canning green beans and canning potatoes coming up. So thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to comment the word of the day and I will see you soon.